Hi guys and welcome back to World of Tanks and well we're going to be looking around the uh, the new map that's come on with the Czechoslovakian tanks and I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong as well but Dukla Pass or it could just be Dukla Pass but I'm going to say Dukla Pass. Anyway here we are it's a nice open map uh, with rolling hills there's a little village in the middle and uh, a few vantage points so we are at the northern spawn as you can see there up in sort of well, interse uh, intersecting A and B, 9 and 0. Now, something I have noticed straight off when I've had a quick look around this map is from the northern spawn, if you head down the east towards the south, there's this road down here with a lot of hard cover on your right, loads of concealment with the trees. Move up a bit, that's the one. Uh, loads of concealment with the trees, and it actually leads all the way down towards the southeastern corner of the map with plenty of cover. Now, what I can imagine here is heavy tanks fighting up and down this road straight out the base. They've got a bit of cover from the, uh, well, the right-hand side if you're coming down from the north so that it prevents anything spotting them that uh, unless they get really close and get on that ridge overlooking that, well, I suppose it is a bit of a valley. And coming from the southern spawn, if you come along that way, you've still got a bit of cover again to sort of stop yourself getting spotted quite as easily until anything gets close. And there's a couple of good places as well to go hold down, especially things for T29s. There's all these little risers and rocks that can uh, give you a bit of cover and, like I say, go hold down on. And a lot of rocks that you can actually side scrape off as well and use uh, to go hold down behind. And now also, this um, seems to be a bit of an advantage from the northern base. As you're coming down that valley, so there's the northern spawn again. So as you're coming down here, you can go up onto this hill. You can actually do it from just a bit further back, I think. But anyway, up onto this hill, you've got a couple of houses up here and two windmills. And there's not a lot of hard cover. There is still stuff that could shoot at you from across there on that hill. But from here, you do have the buildings. I don't know how many of these are destructible. I've not actually uh, looked at that yet. But over by this windmill, you've got a little bit of hard cover, a small rise up towards the edge. But apart from that, it basically overlooks the southern spawn. So that's an advantage from the north, because you'd be able to go to that point and overlook that area, maybe if there's something uh, hiding out over there. And also, if you are from the southern spawn, and you basically you're getting capped, you can get down to this windmill, overlook your base, and hopefully be able to put some shots in and reset it. Now, from the southern spawn, there doesn't seem to be the same sort of vantage point over near the northern one as you do here. You've also got the other side of the valley, look, that's where we just were. And over on this side, you've got this rise with a few rocks, which would provide probably enough cover to go hold down and again it overlooks the southern spawn so for resetting it or for attacking it quite a good vantage point if you can get to it now from up here starting from the southern spawn your light tanks might be able to set up somewhere in these trees and actually overlook a good portion of the center of the map which is quite advantageous and over on this side on the western side you've actually got uh, quite a bit of open space and rolling hills and there's a lot of areas for the mediums, for the lights, to really move about, use the terrain, use the undulations in the ground, to, to basically try and hide their tank as they approach the northern spawn. You've got a couple of buildings, but you've got these large open areas. So do be careful, I would imagine that there'll be plenty of tank destroyers, maybe even sat up here, that started in the north, overlooking that large open area there got a few rocks to hide behind bit of concealment as well and then as you come over towards the northern spawn you've got these areas that you can come up around here using the concealment and the rocks and basically work your way in to the northern spawn and even this bit this is slightly lower and you've got the rise and it comes up and over and into the spawn area so you'll be able to sneak up and around that way maybe use some of those uh, again in things that you can go hold down in or they've got good gun depression well you wouldn't have to have really good gun depression but you could use the concealment and the rocks and some of these lumps and bumps in the ground 
to come and attack the actual northern spawn location here. Now the only place that seems to overlook it is just literally next to it and it's this small hill. It would be risky but you do have some rocks up here and a little bit of concealment but that's not really going to make a difference once you fire because I would have said you're going to be close enough to be detected anyway. But again it is an area that you might be able to use to reset your cap or even attack it as well. Now more in the center of the map again it's it's a bit like it is on the west uh only not quite as high but there's a lot of sort of rolling hills rolling lumps and bumps as i like to call them so you've got a couple of vantage points although there isn't a great deal of concealment up here and there is no cover really but you could use the back of it possibly something like a t29 or anything else with a strong turret and just sit on this back slope just moving forward slightly and use your gun depression to try and get hull down and put shots across the valley. But there are a lot of houses in this village that provide a lot of hard cover as well. There's been quite a few trees as well for concealment. I I do like some of these new maps. Um, I know a lot of people complained about all the trees on Arden, but I thought it added a new dimension to it, allows plenty of concealment, and there's lots of opportunities on this map to set up ambushes as well, especially from this hill. Uh, around what we in F, well yeah, sort of F three, four, five, etc., and down to sort of G five. This is the one near the southern spawn, as you can see, that's over there, and this would be a good place to set up ambushes. Again, with the back slope here, you've got a bit of concealment through the trees, so if you've got a light tank out here spotting for you, it'd be a good place to set up an ambush here for your TDs. And it also it's a good place for ambushing anybody coming down the centre of the map trying to push through those houses. You will have to be careful possibly from shots on the other side. And also with this one being slightly higher it almost negates some of the cover over there but it is fairly difficult to get a clean shot because there are a lot of rocks in the way. So you'd probably have to move a bit further down here maybe using the concealment but at least you've got a bit of hard cover to start shooting across the valley towards the other, uh, the other side where the two windmills are and I think that's about it really I can't think of much more to say about this map without getting used to it and playing on it a lot myself but it, it does look like it's got a lot of opportunities I like the like I say I like all the trees that had a, a new level of concealment I like the fact that the new mines has actually got uh, a lot of trees and concealment on it I think that looks like a, a gorgeous map now but yeah, it, you know, it does offer a lot of opportunities, I think. Like I say, I can imagine the, the heavy tanks from the south sort of striking out towards uh, the eastern side of the map and trying to work their way up this valley along the east with some of the mediums and lights, maybe using this higher ground to get around and flank and using the uh, the houses to side scrape off if you can or for a bit of hard cover. And again, from the north, the heavy tanks coming down that valley and I think this is basically this valley that runs down the uh, the eastern side of the map is looks as though it's probably going to end up as sort of a bit of a, a heavy tank valley and I think the mediums and the uh, the lights are going to pretty much sort of own the centre of the map and out more over on the western side which does seem a lot better sort of for the mediums to manoeuvre about although some of the uh, the good heavies will uh, you know the good heavies some of the heavies with good gun depression will also do well sort of over on the western side of the map as well because there are a lot of undulations like i said before where they'll be able to get hull down use that gun depression to start getting the shots in and the tds well they're just going to have a field day sitting towards the back in a bit of an advantageous position using the teammates to spot for them and shooting out of cover and these are a couple of good vantage points like I say uh, in fact this is a one that I'd missed before there's a, a small tower yeah looks like a sort of watchtower and uh, that's a slightly raised ground so that could actually provide a bit of cover towards anything trying to come out of the northern spawn but yeah there you go uh, Dukla Pass I've not actually been on it yet in game myself but I'm looking forward to getting on it because uh, it looks like it'll be quite a good fun map. I think I might take some of my lights and mediums out and hopefully maybe even get on it uh, in a tank destroyer as well because that would be quite cool. 
But there you go, I hope it's uh, given you a bit of a hint as to what to do with this map, and maybe now you won't be quite so lost when it does come up for you. And if I find out any more tactics or anything like that, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. And if you figure anything out, or you've been on it and you know a particularly good place, or somewhere that I've said, you know, that looks like a good place, you've tried it and it's like, no, it's really no good, leave it in the comments. Uh, like I said, this is a new map and I'm just going off, well, off my experience with the game, off my experience with the other maps as to where it might be good to go on this, but it is always nice to have a, a bit of a preview of it to see what you're going to be dealing with. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. I will hopefully be back in a bit with another video for you, uh, the proper video for today, so until then, take care out there and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Oh, and sorry, if I don't end up coming back with another video today, uh, it's because something's got in the way. I am trying, but I am a little bit behind at the moment. So, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, catch you next time. See you later.